Welcome to another Google Sheets API in Python tutorial. My name is Jay. In this video, we are going to learn how to use Google Sheets API to move columns and rows. We'll be doing two different exercises. For the first exercise, we'll be learning how to move columns. For the second exercise, we'll learn how to move rows. And to move rows and columns, I'll be using the move dimension request to perform this task. And the move dimension request object has two parameters, source, which indicating the area, and the destination index, which is the location where you want to move your uh, data to. And here's my data set. I'll be using my rows columns operation worksheet to perform this uh, exercise. So here, let me copy my worksheet ID. And let me go into my Python editor. And here I'll create a variable called sheet ID. I'm going to store my worksheet ID to the sheet ID variable. For the first example, we're going to learn how to move columns. So let's say I want to move column B and column C to, let's do, uh, let's move to after column E. And I'll change the background color for column B and column C to, to green. So this uh, light green. Now I can go into my Python editor. And here I'm going to create my request body object. And inside the request body object, I'm going to insert my request's object. And it's going to be a list. And I'll insert the move dimension object. And it's going to be a dictionary. Within the move dimension request, I need to provide the source. The source takes a sheet ID parameter star index. So my star index is going to be uh, column B, so it's going to be one. And since I want to move two columns, so my n index is going to be three. For the destination, so insert destination index. I want to move after column E, so here let me use different color. Let's use red. Uh, actually, let's do uh, light pink. I want to move these two columns after column E, and column E is going to be index 6. And here I noticed that I forgot to wrap the uh, move dimension request with a curly bracket, so let me fix that. Right. Now if I make an API call, so in service dot spreadsheets. And now I can make my API call. So here I'll insert my service object dot spreadsheets dot batch update. I need to provide the spreadsheet ID to the spreadsheet ID parameter. For the body, I'll provide the request body object, the asset queue. Now if I press F5 to run the script, and here I'm getting a error. So no dimension is specified. Oh, okay, so I forgot to uh, specify the dimension. I want to move uh, columns. So type columns. Let me try again. So if I run it, and if I go to my spreadsheet and my two columns, now I'm gonna move at the column F. Oh, okay, so this should be five. Let me move these two columns back. And let me run the script again. Right, so this time I get the correct result. And that's for example number one. Now let's do example number two, which is to move rows. So I'll copy uh, this code block. I'm going to reset the background color. Let's say I want to move row three and four. Actually, three, four, five. And I'll use yellow as the background color. And let's say I want to move after row 16. 
And let me go back to my editor. So this should be rows. And three should be uh, two. And since we want to move three rows, since we want to move three rows, we need to change the end index to five. And for the destination index, and it's going to be uh, 16. And let me come out uh, this code block. And if I run the script, and I can see my three rows that I specify in the script now move at the row 16. So here's my destination. So this is everything I'm going to share in this video. For the next lesson, I will show you how to use Google Sheets API to clear sales.